We believe that people will be restored to good health. They will bring healing will take place as they are educated. Right. Um, and <clears throat> and not everybody is sick because of maybe something they're eating or drinking. Sometimes people are sick because of other things that is going on stress. Mm. Um, and some people may be sick because of what they eat and drink, even though they they may have a clear, a healthy mind. And they're just like, hey, I'm just going to eat this. And it's not the best thing for them. Mm. So we realize that most people already know what's good and bad for them. Right. So as the key to education is uh, encouragement. So I notice here that there is that element of body, mind, and spirit approach towards healing. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you integrate that into your programs? Well, as, as we realize, health is not just one aspect, yeah? I mean, mm -hmm. if health was just about, uh, when it, whenever I ask somebody, are you healthy? Or what do you think of about health? They always think of, am I drinking water? Am I exercising as I'm eating the right food? And that's just one part of health that does play a part, but it's not the whole part of health. Yes. Then there's another aspect, which is the mental aspect. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who may be physically, they may be okay, but mentally, they're dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, worry, mm. and guilt, and fear, and stuff like that. And so, as the Bible put it clearly, it says, as a man or woman thinketh in his heart, so, so is he. he. So, this three-tier principle, and the last one being the most important part, the spiritual, comes from the Bible. I mean, uh, we look in, in Luke 2.52, all throughout, there's different references, how Jesus grew. Jesus grew in what? In wisdom. So, that means his mind was in tune. He grew also in what? Sturge. In stature. So, Jesus, as, uh, as we shared before, Jesus was a good-looking man. Some would say handsome. Some people would say hot. <laughs> right. But um, but either or Jesus played the part and not only did he he think the part, but he looked the part. So I think we all need to start taking care Absolutely. of our body. So that plays the part. But he had a clear and a sound mind because why? The most important part of our health is our what? Our spiritual, spiritual health. health. So when the spiritual is in tune, when we when we think of God and stuff like that, you can only think good thoughts. So we have the spirit now. Uh, which will have an impact on the mind. And we always remember Paul, as, as we find bad habits develop, he said, the things that I know I should be doing, I find myself I not doing, doing it. it. <laughs> and those are called bad habits, y'all, or, or AKA sometimes it will even lead to addictions. And so what we realize when it says the spirit wars against the what? The flesh. The flesh, so the body, the mind, and the spirit. What is the spirit warring against the flesh and the flesh warring against the, the spirit for? They're having a war going on. Mm -hmm. What is that war about? They're fighting over this. They're Somebody. fighting over this, which is the what? <laughs> the the mind. mind. And so they're fighting over control of the mind. So the flesh wants to control the mind. But you remember that old saying, the mind controls the what? The body. The body. But the only way the mind could control the body is if the mind is getting help from the what? From the spirit. So all of these things are fighting over the battle of the, of the mind. So if we give our mind over to the what? To the spirit, then the spirit will give us power, right? To regulate the flesh. To regulate the flesh. P power, as you said, to regulate also your thoughts. Mm. Depression is, is sometimes is a disease where we think a lot about who? ourselves mm -hmm. when God said let this mind be in you think on things that are good things that are pure things that are honest, honest. you know mm -hmm. and once you start thinking about these good things and also love then that'll give you the strength to overcome the what hmm. the flesh